A teenager recently walked up to me and told me to start to mentor him. I told him I was too busy and didn't even have enough time for myself, let alone anyone else. He gave a determined no, I must mentor him. I walked away. The boy kept coming at me. He would visit me always, ask too many questions until somehow, I can't now shake him out of my life. Funny thing is, I found his confidence so interesting and it somewhat attracted him to me. Self-confidence attracts people to you. Insecurity repulses them. It has been found that people who exude confidence during job interviews often get the job. People are always attracted to the ones who are self-confident because they know what they are about and what they are going for. If you want to gain confidence, here are 10 simple ways you can start to build confidence. 1. Take action. Nothing beats fear than taking action. There was a time in my own life when I was often afraid I would grow up to be poor because I was lazy at the time and didn't know how to take responsibility for my life. But as soon as I learned just to act and keep acting, I slowly overcame that fear. Do what you're afraid of because the more you do it, the more confident you become. Confidence comes from knowing you can do something and you never know you can do something until you try. 2. Focus This is where most young people miss it. They always want to do everything. You don't have to do it all. Long ago, I would start a business this week and by the following week, I would want to start another one because I was often moved by feelings. What brings pleasure and quick success? You don't achieve quick success when you try to do so many things and just keep failing at it. Of course, it affects your confidence. Cut down on things you're doing. Choose one or two things. When you win, your confidence naturally grows. 3. Use positive language This is what I have found. You become what you say. I only need to say I can't do it twice or more, and I would find I generate the feeling and lack of energy to ever get something done. But each time I remind myself I can do it and say that repeatedly, I find myself experiencing some positive vibes that encourage me to get that thing done. Confident people know that it still works to trick yourself into being confident. You may not feel up to a task, but somehow, you can speak yourself into being up to it. What you have not achieved is what you have not tried to achieve. So don't put yourself down just because you haven't started to do it yet. Tell yourself you can do it, then go ahead to do it, and don't procrastinate on it. Confidence comes from action, not from just talking. 4. Give up control I have the tendency to always want to be sure that things are working just fine. I hate when things aren't perfect. Writer Jody Michael writes, People often feel the need to control because they don't trust that things will work out the way they want. That mistrust is immobilizing and can prevent you from taking action if you harbor concerns about your ability to find a new job because you believe that no one will hire you, you might put off writing your resume, updating your LinkedIn profile, and starting your job search. Lacking trust in the positive outcome can prevent you from being able to go with the flow. By resisting, you might create unnecessary pain and drama. If you're a perfectionist, you always want things to be perfect before you ever take a step. Or when you do, you hate to see things go wrong. To build confidence, you have to let go of that perfectionist attitude because you are not superhuman. You will always make mistakes. And part of building confidence is learning to accept mistakes and move on in spite of them. 5. It's all in your head Sometimes, confident people do not have a prettier face or bigger brains. They just simply believe in themselves and that's all. I know ugly people, but they believe so much in themselves that they can get any girl they want. And I know guys who are handsome but can't find the confidence to speak to girls. Confidence is a choice. Confidence is just about being sure about yourself, knowing that you can do something even though you may feel you can't. You're what you think about, so if you think you can do it, you can. Confident people simply admit this kind of positive belief about themselves. 6. Tune up your body Confident people, I have observed, always walk taller. They don't walk with their heads bent like the world has bitten them over. They don't walk around looking confused or bitten, even though they may be struggling with some things. Look confident, feel confident, do confident things and you will soon start to feel confident. Put confidence in your gait. You can change your posture, keep your head up instead of slouching and leave a smile on your face at all times. This will improve your confidence. 7. Exercise Well, I didn't know exercise improves self-confidence until recently. Besides exercise aiding your overall good health, it also keeps your confidence level high and helps you to maintain it. You will naturally feel good when your body feels good and too often, you need to feel good to be sure you can take on challenges that are before you. 8. Dress confident It may seem unimportant, but still, how you dress determines how confident you will be. I know some people advocate that Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs and others don't dress elaborately 
although they are wealthy. Well, you're not Mike Zuckerberg, and you most likely do not have a million dollar company yet. How you dress still affects your confidence, so improve your dressing. You don't have to break the bank to do so, just wear the clothes you have well. Looking good boosts your self-image, which in turn boosts your self-confidence. 9. Be prepared I lost confidence severally because I failed at some interviews, and I failed at those interviews because I wasn't prepared. Simple. Each time you're fully prepared, it improves your confidence. Being half prepared or unprepared will usually sap your confidence. The fear of failure is usually what makes most people lose confidence in themselves. However, proper preparation will forestall such failure oftentimes. 10. Failure is inevitable. Accept the reality of failure. Confident people know they would fail sometimes, and so never try to overthink it. Whenever I launch out on a new thing, I make room for failure, but still work as hard as I can to succeed. I do this so that should failure occur, I won't stay down, but will pick myself up again and start working. Failure is a part of life, so don't be afraid to fail. Confident people have learned to manage failure well. They learn from it and move on in spite of it. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.